what is up you guys it is faith welcome back to another video on the channel today i tried new makeup products and new makeup techniques i followed an inspiration photo on pinterest and i tried to recreate it spoiler alert this is what it looks like um but it was a whole journey getting here so i hope you guys enjoy watching and without further ado let's get right on into the video <laughs> So I already did my skincare routine, I hydrated my face, did a serum, moisturizer, eye gel, the whole shebang. So I am prepped and ready to get started with my makeup. I'm going to try the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. It actually was sent to me in exchange for a review and I actually get a lot of products for free in exchange for reviews or even just gifted collaborations on my social media. So if you want to know like what app and what kind of programs I use to get free products like Dior, then let me know and I will definitely do a video on that. I tried it out once before um, just to kind of see what the coverage was and it's actually like medium to full coverage which if you guys follow me on my channel you know I don't do medium coverage so I'm more of a light kind of gal so this is definitely going to be a glam look also it's like one or two shades darker so I'm going to go over with a brighter concealer later on to kind of make everything all even but look at that Oh my gosh. Yeah, the shade is definitely for my summertime skin tone. But already, look at the difference. This is like a radiant coverage, as they say. So it's not going to be matte or super dewy. It's like kind of the best of both worlds. So good. And my skin still looks super glowy, which I absolutely love. So, so far, I'm giving this like a 9.8. If it was my shade, I'd give it a 10. But I'm going to brighten it up with this Morphe 2 concealer. And then I'm gonna put some under my eyes and then just blend it out. Okay, and now I'm just gonna put concealer in areas where I typically would. So um, I put some on my blemishes right here. I'm not gonna like do that too much because I don't want to obviously highlight my blemishes. But this is where I typically put my concealer. And I think we're good to go. I feel like this concealer, I've tried it out multiple times. I've given it so many chances. I feel like it's great in combination with this foundation just because the shades are so different and they make my actual skin tone better. Um, but I do love my Maybelline Fit Me concealer. It doesn't dry out super fast compared to the Morphe 2. You gotta work really hard with this. Now I'm gonna set everything with some powder. I'm gonna use my tried and true Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm just gonna start out by putting some under my eyes. I just like to get some extra setting there. So on my chin and then my nose and then last but not least my forehead. I have like a little crease like right there so I like to set that immediately. And then I like to do the rest of my contour next. I'm not gonna go in with bronzer because I feel like I'm already pre-bronzed so i'm just gonna do some blush i'm gonna use this little blush by nars and um i don't want to go too crazy with this either so i'm just gonna lightly put it on my cheeks so now that we're done with that i'm gonna set it with some powder i have two little things i want to try so i recently got this pro powder brush Ooh, super fluffy i like it so i'm gonna use that and i'm gonna pair it with this little setting powder, it is the Micro Smooth Multitasking Baked Face Powder. If this worked out well, that would be perfect because I am about to hit pan with my Becca Cosmetics. And unfortunately, Becca Cosmetics is no longer in business, so I can't like rebuy it. I like this powder brush, but I'm filming two videos, so hopefully this powder lasts me through all my filming, because throughout the day I would have to like set my face. My face feels set. Okay, we'll see how that goes. A new powder brush 
in the collection. Okay, so now let's get fun with it and do eyes. First, I'm gonna do some chapstick. I always have to keep my lips moisturized. We don't want no chap lips. Okay, so now let's go on with the eyes. I have a little like inspo I have with this because I wanted to get creative with this video. I post a lot of fun makeup looks on my Pinterest account. I think this one is super cute. So it's basically, I mean, it is pretty like natural compared to like other makeup looks you can do. But the defining thing I want to do is put the blue shadow on my waterline. And I have a palette that has a pretty blue shade. I have a lot of like neutral palettes. So the fact that I have this pretty blue and the shade trendy in the tardy pro palette. This is the palette we're going to be using. So I want to use that blue on my waterline right here. And then the top part of the makeup kind of looks pretty natural. Like it's more warmed up with some glitter on it. I don't know what I'm going to do about that liner though. We might try a winged liner. Not 100% sure. I've done it before and I hated it. So we might do a smoky liner. Does that make sense? I don't think so. And then the brows are just like very natural and like feathered, which is what I already do. So we're going to try this out. Pick out my base. I think I'm going to use this bold color right there. It's kind of warm, but it's also brown. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to use this little fluffy brush and zoom you guys in. There we go. And if you guys know me, you know I'm very natural with my makeup. So this is like a step up already. <laughs> Trying a new palette. Just swirling it around. I would. Nothing crazy because this is all going to get blended out anyway. So it doesn't matter how messy it is. Maybe I should have done the eyes first and then the face makeup. I don't know. There's like this really pretty like burnt orangey color right there I kind of want to try. I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie, but I'm just gonna just dip into it. I'm actually gonna mix it with the darker color next to it. It's in the shade Smoked. It's kind of more of like a like a brownish red. I think it would be a good combo. So I'm just gonna mix that together just very lightly. It's okay, trust the process, trust the process. I feel like this is way too orange, but we're gonna go for it. We're gonna dip into Wild Thing and then this little brown shade to kind of like balance things out. Okay, that's kind of like more what I wanted to go for, so I'm just gonna do it on the other side. Okay, so now we got the warmth. We warm things up. I'm gonna use this little glittery shade Glam. I'm gonna just pack that on to I guess the middle of the lid and then a little bit in the inner. So like more like right there. That definitely changed things. I love it so much. Okay, and then just I'm gonna put more in like the middle lid like that. I'm really liking this eye a lot better. I have a favorite eye. This eye always does better with my eye makeup. Now I'm gonna go in with the liner. So this is like a dark chocolate brown color, which is perfect for this look. So I'm just gonna go in on my tight line right there and just lightly line my eyes a little bit. I'm not gonna do like a huge dramatic ween. Obviously not perfect, which is totally fine because we're just gonna go ahead and smudge it out. I like it, but that's just as much as I'm gonna get out of that because this is like so hard to smudge. Like you have to press in really hard in order to get a little bit of smudge. So that's all I'm gonna do with that. Okay, so now for the fun part, we're gonna do blue on the water lines. So I'm gonna use this little precision brush. All of my little rose gold brushes are from BH Cosmetics, by the way. It's part of like the rose gold bundle. I don't know if they have any more, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the blue shade. Again, this is just like a pretty glittery blue. I wish I did my nails. Anyways, I'm just gonna dip that in. I 
think I'm gonna just mix it with glam because now it's looking a little dark. Dang it, I thought the blue was gonna be a lot brighter. I think the mistake is that it's not eyeliner, it's shadow. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows because I'm annoyed with how my brows look because my eyes are so dramatic, my brows look bare. So I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury um, Brow Cheap and just fill in my brows a little bit. I'm gonna set them with some brow gel. We're gonna make them look a little fluffy. I had lashes that I wanted to try out, but two things occurred to my mind. One, I don't have lash glue, and two, I've done false lashes before and they looked horrible, and I don't wanna go down that route again. I'm gonna use my favorite beauty counter mascara. Thoughts? Do we like it now? Like, I, I love the lashes. I just don't know about the eyeshadow still. I still don't. Okay, I'm kind of vibing with it, not gonna lie. Now I feel like I gotta curl my hair and put on a cute fit. I'm kind of vibing with it, but we'll have to look back on the footage to see like what we really think about it. Um, Cause it's all that matters, right? Just what it looks like on camera. So now I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter. To set the look and then we're gonna do lips and then we're done this is like my go-to highlighter right now for the like past five years I'm just gonna lightly dust that on my face so I got this new lip gloss Nick sent me this and it is there this is juice gloss fun um, it's not like plumping or anything it's just like regular lip gloss this is in watermelon sugar Mmm. <gasps> this smells so good. It's like watermelon Jolly Ranchers right here. Oh my gosh, 13 year old me would like scream over this. Okay, that's the makeup look. It's a big step for me. I'm glad that I tried out new techniques and products and you guys got to experience my true reactions with me. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna go do my hair, take some Instagram photos, and then probably take it all off because I feel like this is way too dramatic for me. So um, if you want more of these videos, let me know in the comments below. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye.